Hey you guys, welcome back. I've taken a oh, couple days off. Two? I filmed a little bit on Sunday, which I normally don't do. Um, I gotta go upstairs. Gotta get a end to my power cord. It is just me at home right now. The kids are at school. I'm gonna turn that fan off. It's kinda noisy. Um, they've been at school for about two hours. I have done dishes and, hang on. Turn this off. I've done dishes and folded three loads of laundry, I think. Where's my hand? And I was gonna sit down and work on the computer, but um, I realized I should probably, well, I want to run to the store. Let's just be honest. We want to run to the store really quick. I wanna go to Walmart and look at some like leggings and stuff. The weather has turned <laughs> and I don't like to wear jeans, so Need to kind of go and look at other options. I did like leggings and tunics like two years ago, and I don't mind it. I don't mind it, but it's just not as casual. So I want to go see if I can find either some shirts at Old Navy or some. Oh, it's really dark. Hang on. Sorry, I'm just. I've shut everything off, so I can't turn on lights to make it better because I'm trying to leave. Just need to go and look at some options. I also, I, anyway, Walmart, Old Navy, kind of check that out. But I also need to look for wedding dresses. I am so excited. I don't know that she watches these videos and that's fine. My little sister, I can officially say, is getting married and I'm so excited. She just got engaged like four days ago. Anyway, I would have loved to have been there when she told my family. I think they all had dinner. She told them then. She stopped at my sister's house and told her there, but Anyway, I'm super excited for her, but so it is September 10th today, or 11th, 10th. So you're watching this like middle to end of September and she's getting married October 25th. Yeah, you do the math. Just over a month from now, she's getting married. She is kind of in her 30s and has waited for a husband for, you know, um, oh gosh, the majority, hang on, oh my goodness. All right, sorry, I had to just get things into the car. This sister of mine um, is seven years younger than me, I think. I think that's right. Um, she's just got a career and her fiance has a career and they don't wanna play games. They've dated for six months and they know that they wanna marry each other. And so they just don't wanna have a long engagement. They wanna play it safe and make sure that they don't make a mistake before they get married. It's kind of a religious thing. And like, there's just no point in like waiting a year before they get married. They wanna be married and they wanna move on with their life together. And you know, they wanna buy a house and have kids and you know, they wanna like start having life together, which is, I'm so excited for her. Like I, I seriously can't wait. This is the sister that goes to Hawaii with us or has gone to Hawaii with us in the past and so, she just loves kids. She loves all the grandkids and loves hanging out with them and going to their soccer games, games and their ballet performances and going on vacation with us. Like she loves being with family. And so I'm so glad that she's getting married and starting her own family. And so part of that means that, hang on, let me get my seatbelt on. Okay, seatbelt is on. Can't get in trouble, except that I'm holding a camera. So hopefully I'll be okay. Part of the whole you know, rush to get married is that I now have to rush to get my girls dresses and get myself a new dress. I think I found one on a website called Ruli. It's actually based in my hometown, which I didn't know that. I always see it on Instagram and I always look at the dresses and I'm a cheapskate, so I don't ever like pay more than $40 for a dress. But I found one yesterday for 44 and so I think I might order that for myself. She's doing like fall colors. It's gonna be really pretty. And we are going to drive down to go to this wedding 
it's just too expensive for us to fly. And Jason, unfortunately, cannot go. He, like, he feels horrible. He really gets along with all of my siblings. Um, but he has a good relationship with my sister. And so he feels horrible that he can't leave. But he has, um, like, a semi-annual sale. It's like the Nordstrom sale, you know, for him. And it is scheduled a year in advance and it's with reps from a certain shoe company and it's kind of a big deal for our store it's where we make a mo the most amount of the money for this half of the year in one weekend and so he can't miss it which unfortunately means I have to drive alone again which is just <laughs> I'm already dreading it you guys and I need to do it in one solid day per way like I have to just, I can't waste two days to drive there and two days to drive home. I've gotta get the kids in school, I've gotta get them back, you know. Unfortunately, now that we have high schoolers, I'm just talking because this is all kind of like my life right now. And you're who I have to talk to. With a high schooler now, the pressure of missing school goes up. And so we've already talked to Kaylee. We actually knew this was probably going to come when we were down there this summer. There, it was very obvious that they were moving toward marriage. And so we've already been talking as a family, what were we gonna do if they got married this, you know, in the fall. And Kaylee is very worried about missing even just two days of school. And so we have agreed to look into flying her down the night that we leave, if that makes sense. So she would still go to school. We would probably leave right around the time she leaves for school, so 7 a.m., possibly even sooner, Jason can stay at home with her until she leaves to go to school, but we're gonna leave at like five or six o'clock in the morning. And then he'll take her to the airport and put her on a flight that night, and my sister, hopefully, I've gotta call her, um, will hopefully pick her up from the airport and bring her up to my family's house. Um, literally will probably meet us at the same time it takes us to drive. <laughs> Um, but that way she doesn't have to miss that extra day of school and then we have to drive all day on Sunday to get home back in time for school. So it's kind of hard and, you know, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make and I'm super excited to go and celebrate her and her fiance. He's a really funny guy and he just, the few times that we got to hang out this summer when I was there, I'm glad I actually got to spend some extra days there when there wasn't any like extra stuff to do. You know, there wasn't plans or bar big barbecues or pool parties. We just got to like hang out and stay up late and talk and laugh. And I got to see his personality and there were a few comments of his and I was like, oh, you get us. Are you, you <laughs> you're gonna fit in really, really well to this family and I was really glad to like get to know him just that little bit because um, it's important. I want my sister to be happy. I want her to like find someone that's gonna make her um, excited about life and someone to like share it with. I think, you know, she's been looking for that for a long time. I've always thought that she'd find like a teddy bear of a guy and he is, he's a great guy. Anyway, I'm just so excited for her thinking things in my mind. She's already been talking to Kaylee about what dress she wants Kaylee to get and what colors and that kind of thing. Um, there are 23 grandkids. She's making the girls unofficial bridesmaids. She just wants to, them to coordinate colors. Nothing like official, all the same dresses or anything, I think. They're a big part of her life. And so I'm gonna go, I'm rambling, but I'm gonna run to the store and see if I can get an idea of what dresses we can get and maybe some fall clothes for myself and kind of continue on. So yeah, that's my ramble for the morning and then I have high school curriculum tonight, you guys. Whole new world. It is a whole new world that we are learning to like curb and figure out and parent and I'll talk about that more with you later because we had our first kind of like, oh, we've never done this before moment. And so, <laughs> and, and that's just gonna be like, that's just gonna keep happening. So I gotta drive and get on the highway and go to Walmart and Old Navy and hopefully TJ Maxx. So let's go do that. All right, nothing fancy to show at Walmart or at Old Navy. I did find some dresses that I think might work for the wedding. I'll talk about that in a second. I did get um, just like a t-shirt. I like this like style with a different color at the top of the collar. It's just like one of those 
you know, it's just a t-shirt. That one was like $4 on clearance. And then this one was only $3 on clearance. It's cute, just orange and white stripes. The sleeves do have a cute little like bow on the sleeve. I don't know. They're definitely like summer dresses or summer t-shirts. I wear t-shirts all winter long and then I just throw a sweatshirt on if I'm gonna go outside or if I'm cold or whatever. Anyway, I found some cute dresses for myself. I tried one on and I really, really liked it and it's probably about 10 or $15 cheaper than the one I found on that website last night. It'll work, it's like a golden. It's like that deep acorn kind of golden color. I don't know how to describe it. I should have showed you, but I <laughs> didn't. Anyway, I looked, I liked it a lot. It fit me, I was comfortable in it, and that is kind of the key. But I like the other one online better, and I'm willing to spend a little bit more, but my friend said that the sizing is really weird, so I'm kind of cautious on ordering it without being able to try it on. And I've never ordered from this company before. But then I did find some dresses that might be cute for the girls. I think I could only convince Ashley and Chelsea, you know, Ashley and Abby, to buy the dresses that I saw in there. They're more my fancy girls. And Chelsea is more like, she's not a tomboy, but she doesn't like a lot of frills. So these two dresses definitely couldn't work for her. And I have to work on Kaylee from a totally different store and a different perspective. She wants to get a new dress for the wedding, but just kind of see. I'm gonna call, I'm trying to get a hold of my sister and get an idea of what she wants to do for dresses and whatnot. She's only talked to Kaylee about it, so try and get a hold of her or my mom here in just a minute. Try and decide if I have anything else to do. I was gonna go to TJ Maxx, but I think I'm gonna hold off. I need Ashley and Chelsea with me to look at shoes. Ashley got that cute pair from Target, and I don't think it's the shoe doing it. I think it's like all the energy she used in PE that was making her exhausted yesterday. Oh, sorry, that's my stupid AC. I need a new car. <laughs> um, anyway, so, I need them to try on shoes because Ashley came home with sore legs and sore feet. I don't think it's necessarily her shoes. I think it's just energy she hasn't, like physical activity she hasn't done in a long time. I think she does need a pair of tennis shoes, like real like lace up good cushion tennis shoes for the first time. She's been able to kind of skate by with just like the cheapo shoes from Target and I think this is the first time in PE where she's actually having to like run a lot and it's hurting her feet to store cheap shoes. So I'm gonna have them come this weekend and we'll go and look at TJ Maxx or Marshalls and even like a sports store and see if I can try on actual like real tennis shoes. So I'm not gonna bother going there now because then I'm just gonna be tempted to buy stuff for myself. I am tempted though to go home and get my fall stuff out. I'll kind of see. Also a craft that I started working on the other day, I think I filmed on Saturday when I was working on all those craft projects. I got to the end of it and it didn't quite work out the way I thought it was. And so I had to get all janky in there and get it to like stay together. And it was just kind of a hot mess by the time I was done. By no means is it a tutorial at this point. It's not, I can't even like fake it to make it appear like it's a tutorial. So I'm just gonna show you the product. I'll show it to you uh, when I get home and I'll show you kind of how I started making it and then I'll show you how it kind of got janky and maybe what I would do different, except I don't know that I would know what to do different. So that's why I can't do it as a tutorial. It'll make more sense when I show it to you at home. So let's just go home. Hi guys. Can you tell it's like nighttime now? <laughs> I'm gonna have to continue this vlog tomorrow because this is the most boring thing I've ever done since I started this channel. After I set you guys down last, I ate lunch. It only took me like 20 minutes, 15 minutes or so because I was expecting a call from my mom and I ended up talking to my mom and then my mom's neighbor back home. It's a friend of mine from back home. And then my mom again, and then my little sister, and then my twin sister, and then my daughter. I spent four and a half hours on the phone. And then my kids came home from school. I had to actually do some more time on the phone while they were home. Quickly made mac and cheese for the two kids that were left at home, took one, to an activity one direction, got Kaylee sent a different direction with a ride, and I have been at curriculum night for two hours, and I'm exhausted. I haven't eaten since 1 p.m., and it is almost nine. It is 10 to nine. Uh, you guys, I still have two more curriculum nights. <laughs> but I think this is the hardest one so far, 
and so the other two should be easy. High school graduate or high school curriculum night is no joke. Trying to find all my daughter's classrooms up and down and across the campus and it's a gorgeous campus. I'm not gonna complain about that, but like finding all of her classrooms and having to ask students <laughs> where to go is a little humbling. It was just good to talk to her teachers and figure a high school out as a parent because this is all new. And leave a comment below if you have high schoolers right now or if you just finished with high school with your kids or you're going to have some like in a year or two because it is new territory for us and we're kind of playing this by ear. Anyway, so I'm exhausted and Jason texted me as I was coming home and I bet some of our regulars could guess what he asked for. Leave a comment below what you think he, or before I go in and tell you what he's asked for, guess. Okay, so for those of you who guessed ice cream, you're you're correct. <laughs> I'm like, I've had a long day, he had a long day, but do you know what the best part of my day was? I had this like half hour gap in time where I was worried about um, the little kids not having someone home and not knowing how to avoid that because I had to get to this curriculum night. And so I had been in talks with my oldest, not going to her activity tonight for church so that she could stay home and babysit, but she really wanted to go. And so it was like this tug and pull. I didn't know what to do. And then right at the last minute, my husband, um, who was working alone today, I, we haven't really talked about that, but we had to fire our newest employee again. So we're down to like no staff. So <laughs> part of the the wonders and the and the benefit of owning your own business is that he just suddenly texted me and he's like, hey, our computers just went down. So I put a note on the door and said, sorry, we're closed. <laughs> they were not down. So he just, he did a really good day by himself. We own a shoe store. If you are new, it's a shoe store here in Seattle anyway. So he just said, I did a really good day here by myself. I'm calling it good, I'm exhausted, and I need to get home to take care of the kids so I can go do this and the other two can go to their church activities. So teamwork makes everything happen, but it means that I did absolutely nothing else today. The reason why I was on the phone all day, I won't babble too much. We're gonna go in and get ice cream and a frozen pizza because we ate all of our dinner for the past two nights. All the leftovers are gone and I did not make chicken noodle soup for dinner tonight because no one was home and there's a helicopter. That's not usual. So I was talking to all these people on the phone today for my sister's wedding. And I'm super excited for her wedding, so I was making arrangements and I have to fly my daughter down, so I had to talk to my sister about getting her at the airport and just all these other arrangements and all of the grandkids are going to be in the wedding, technically. They're not, if you know Mormon weddings, you're not actually in the wedding because we don't do a civil marriage. We do one in our temple and so, all 23 of our grandkids are going to be, the girls are all gonna be in three different colored dresses, they're all the same, and then the boys are gonna wear white shirts, or white, you know, dress shirts, and then they're all gonna wear the same tie. And then all my brothers are all wearing the same tie and white dress shirts and suits and stuff. It's gonna be super cute and super fun, And but it was like four and a half hours of coordinating all that between all these different people, and it's not even the end. Plus my sister was kind of giving me assignments of, things I need to make for the wedding and super fun stuff but it just took so long today to like work through all that kind of stuff because we only have a month and a half to plan this wedding so I'm happy to help I'm just tired so I'm gonna end this now I'm gonna show you what ice cream I picked for Jason because I know you're all curious what he's gonna get tonight because he deserves the ice cream after the day he has had we just kind of do this thing together and no I'm not home with him and not having a wonderful family event tonight but like this is what it takes to kind of raise a family and do your own thing and I'm gonna end it here with the ice cream and then I might show you in the morning really quick the little craft project that I'm not doing that tutorial for and then I think I'm gonna take tomorrow off from filming unless I do something fun with the kids they have half day tomorrow but there's a really high chance they're just gonna leave the house and go play so there's not much chance for video opportunities until I find one, <laughs> I guess. I have been blabbering. All right, let's go determine what ice cream Jason's gonna get. Maybe I'll just surprise him. I will see you tomorrow morning. I'll show you that craft project that I finished. Two of my favorite things on display. Hey guys, 
I'm gonna just wrap up this video. We've been babbling for a little too long yesterday. So I just wanted to show you these final crafts that I did and then I'm gonna do. All right, sorry about that. Battery died. <laughs> Had to go grab a new one. I gotta plug this one in. Well, showing you these little craft projects that I finished. Like I said yesterday, I'm not gonna bother trying to do a tutorial on them. You're gonna quickly see why. <laughs> it got a little janky. All right, so here's the first one. I think you've already shown this one to you, but I glued this on. It'll pop off easy if I need it to, because it's just hot glue. And then I think I'm actually gonna do a bigger bow. I think it's a little bit disproportionate by just having a little one. So anyway, I might do something different with that. But then to change it out for Christmas, I have that little, I mean obviously this is going to die before Christmas, but I can get a new one. I might add like some little pine cones. These ones actually have like a cinnamon scent to them. It was actually from like a craft store. So I can do something like that. And then the other sign that goes on it. Alright, so sin since this is already attached, it's kind of hard to see the whole thing. But there's that joy to the world sign. And it would just go on there. I could also just get another hoop and then make a whole separate one, but we'll see. All right, so here is the second thing that I made, and it was going really, really easy in terms of gluing these all together. I used the E6000 to glue them all together, but that takes a long time to dry, but I was out of hot glue. Otherwise, I would have done both of them in order to like have a quick dry, but then a long-term hardened dry. So anyway, I had to just kind of wait overnight for the E6000 to dry. And then I added four little circles of the burlap for my bow. I kind of wanted to do something a little bit more related to the circles of the wood rounds. And then I just added some orange ribbon to it. But again, you could add like anything to this. But this is where the tutorial kind of went bad. It's on the back side. <laughs> okay, so. First of all, we see the burlap and that's fine and dandy, but like underneath the burlap, in order to give me a little bit more security, I used like a foam board to glue it to and then I cut it out and whatnot, cut out the circle. But then it started to show anyway. So then I added the burlap and then the burlap wasn't covering up the white and it just got really janky. I mean, I know that you can't see this side, but in terms of like a tutorial, it just wasn't like <laughs> what I wanted it to be. So anyway, that's real life of a crafter. Sometimes it works out really good and sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes you don't need to see all the mess on the back side, but. But anyway, I, I still think they're cute and I'm going to do this activity at another church activity. It's a long story. I ended up canceling the main craft activity a lot of other scheduling conflicts were starting to pop up. A big one for me popped up and I am in charge of the whole thing. And so I'm glad that it all ended up kind of falling apart and I, I had to cancel it because it's gonna work out way better in the long run. And I can't explain that right now because I have a little secret that I can't really share anything about right now. Even though I'm scheduled out two weeks, I don't think I'm quite, I should look at my little calendar. I don't think I'm quite there. Nope, I'm not. Um, I'm not quite on date to be able to share my little secret that I have. So I'm going to end this video and I'm actually going to turn right around and start the next day's video. So take care you guys. Thanks for going with me on my little mom journey yesterday. That's just kind of life and it's from my perspective, right? So I guess some of you are going to say it's okay. We'd like to hear you chat and I kind of put myself down when I say that I'm babbling and whatnot. But this channel for me is... It's my perspective and Jason's perspective when he has the camera and it's our kids and our memories and that kind of thing. And it's me communicating with you guys and trying to relate to other moms and you guys relating to me and that's what this channel is about. And hopefully we can keep it that way. YouTube has made some major changes that we'll talk about later that might get our channel shut down if it's kid directed. And it's not for me. I like that kids can watch it because it's family friendly, but it is not kid directed. I direct this at my moms. I direct this at women and to parents that are raising kids. Anyway, I'm not going to apologize, I guess, for just having conversations all day long as opposed to cute little montages of the kids playing and all that kind of stuff. Because my reality right now is that I'm home for six, seven, eight hours a day by myself. So you get my perspective. 
So if you enjoyed that, subscribe and come back for more. Take care, guys. Bye.